Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cookbook Keto. This is Stacy with Keizu Keto. In this episode we are making pork chops in a Parmesan cream sauce. Yes, it is all keto friendly. And the recipe comes from a website called momfoodie.com down below if you're interested in making it yourself. We are gonna make a modification to it as far as how it's cooked. You can definitely follow the recipe or if you have what we have, you can do it our way. So for this recipe, you're gonna need, of course, your pork chops. We have these packaged up for our method of cooking. You're gonna need butter, onion, avocado oil. It does use olive oil in the recipe. We prefer to use avocado. Minced garlic, Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream, bone broth, parsley, basil, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. Let's show you how to do it. We did not buy these pre-cut. We actually bought a whole big long pork thing. Loin. loin. Called a pork loin. Big whole. Temperature's ready. Big whole pork loin. Um, I don't like dealing with that, so we had Greg cut them up, and here's some tidbits from him. Okay, guys. So like Stacy said, we've got a pork loin here. Now, we take the pork loin and we cut our own pork chops out of it. You can actually have the butcher do it there. But the pork loin is a great piece of meat. It's um, fairly affordable and it's fairly lean. So make sure you're fattening it up with something else if you're if you're doing the keto stuff. But less than $16 for all of this meat. So we usually cut pork chops out of the middle and then we got two roasts on the end that you can kind of make and you can do these in a variety of different ways. They make great pulled pork um, if you want to do it in a crock pot or a pressure cooker or something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean it's, we got almost eight pounds of meat here for, for 16 bucks, so obviously pretty good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut some uh, steak, uh, pork chops out here, I and mean, we want these kind of thick, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do about an inch. Is that sound about right, Stacy? About an inch? You can do a lot with an inch. Do a lot with an inch. <laughs> she says an inch is good. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this in half. And then I'm going to start making pork chops out of this side here. So I'm going to do about an inch, um, maybe about an inch, an inch and a half. Um, Need them thick. That's right. You got to have thick pork chops. And they come out real nice. You know, good size. I'm going to cut six of these out. Um, I think the recipe Stacy's using only calls for four. So how about that? How about, a, how about a thumbs up for the peanut gallery actually being on camera this time, huh? <laughs> You can, if you want to, cut all these into pork chops. Um, but you'll see that there's some darker pieces of meat here. That's kind of more of the sirloin, pork sirloin area. Um, so they're perfectly fine. They taste no different. Um, but if you're like Stacy, you might be a little bit dejected by the fact that your pork is a little different color than everybody else's. So I got, what do you got? Five here, four or five. I'm gonna cut a couple more out this side here. This is also a great option for meal prepping if you want to keep keep going. Um, but like I said, so this is just going to be basically um, a bunch of pork. This is like normally what you think about when you think about a pork loin. Um, this is the part you're getting. The full pork loin, that's the whole thing. Um, that includes the pork sirloin at the other end. So let's see, three, six, seven. Do one more. That's double the recipe. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna bag them up and with my vacuum sealer and we'll turn them into um, pulled pork or some other places that you can do. You can also just make a pork roast. It's also very delicious. Basically three meals out of 15 bucks and it's meat, so it's pretty good. Back to Stacy. All right, now Stacy's electing to cook these pork chops via sous vide. And if you're gonna cook, pork loins via sous vide is also awesome. Um, so you can actually go ahead and season this right at the same time as you're doing the pork chops and then freeze it that way and then just make sure you let it sit out overnight so that it thaws up before you throw it in the thing. You don't even have to do that actually. You can you can take it frozen and put it right into the sous vide and cook it that way too. Just add an extra hour for your cook time. So a pork roast like this would take about six hours. So if it's already frozen and seasoned, just plop it in and let it sit in there for about seven hours. Oh. All right, now actually to Stacy. All right, thanks to Greg for cutting these up for me so I didn't have to deal with that nastiness. We're gonna do two bags of four. He also made the bags for me too. Gotta season them first. Yep, 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 yep. All 
Okay, now that these are full, we're gonna season this. We get a lot of questions on these and these are actually super helpful um, because it grinds it up for you. Um, we'll link these down below. Greg found them on Amazon. I'm gonna pat that down in there. Get in there, salt. Now we're gonna flip them and season the other side. Now we're gonna put them in the bags after they've been seasoned on both sides. Quick tip though, if you roll the top of the bag, you don't have to worry about getting meat juice and stuff on them. Yeah, it's fine. But the bags are pretty large, so it's probably fine. Now that we have these in the bag, we're gonna go ahead and seal them with the, the food sealer thing. Saver, food saver. Food saver. Um, that way we keep the water out and also take out all the extra air. Hey, now it's it. sealing. Hey, stop it. Stop it, stop it, ah, it hurts, ah. Let go. Sealed, airtight. It's actually kind of fun to play with this. This is the first time she's ever really used it, guys. No. No? No. 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 When's another time you've used it? I don't know. It's been a long time. Yeah. I like how it makes them go like... <laughs> and they spread out. It's the same reaction she has when she mentions something going poop. Done. Oh, it's done. <laughs> All right. So you got eight pork chops and two roasts. Yep. For 15 bucks. These are going to go in the sous vide. These are going to go in the fridge or the freezer. So we get these at the warehouse store, guys, like Sam's. That's where yep. we got this one. Costco has them too, but they're about the same price. I mentioned we're cooking them a little different. We have them in these food saver bags to vacuum seal them. We're gonna use the sous vide, which is what this is. This is a great hands-off cooking contraption, which if you know me, you know I like hands-off. So we're gonna sous vide these. Sous vide means under vacuum. So we have these in vacuum sealed bags. We are going to put them in the water bath at 160 degrees for two hours. And we don't have to worry about them burning. I don't have to babysit them. It's awesome. So now we're gonna put these in the fridge because we need to fill this with water and get it up to temperature. We're gonna fill this about three quarters of the way full. You can see somewhere on this, there's a minimum and a maximum. Mine, right on the TV. Here's where we deviate from the written recipe. Um, that says that you can cook these on the skillet, cook them in a skillet on the stovetop. But if you have seen past cookbook keto videos, I get really, really, really bored waiting for stuff to cook. And I have too many squirrels to do that. So, we're using the sous vide. We're gonna put the pork chops in here. And the nice thing about this is, is you can leave it going for days and they will never burn. They will never be overcooked. They just keep going at the same temperature. Now this is my first attempt at using this. I have never used this myself. I think it'll be okay though. Yeah, don't leave it in there for days though, guys, because it'll turn into mush. Whatever. <laughs> We've done that before. So if you're doing like a roast or something in days, yes. But if you're doing pork chops, which are fairly, fairly thin. But we're doing thick pork chops. So, so don't leave it in there for days, because if you do, you'll have like just like mush meat. <laughs> but for pork chops, a couple hours is perfect. Could, Steaks is also a couple hours. It could be a though. Salisbury steak. <laughs> could, that's not a Salisbury steak either. But, but yeah, roasts are like six hours. <laughs> and you can do even bigger pieces of meat. Like I think a pork butt, I'd do like 60 hours. Ribs are like 40 hours. So it's really cool because it's hands off. So that's why. Which I, is what I like. Which is what Stacy likes. So it's going to take two hours to cook them in this. But it's two hours of doing something else. Other things. Than standing there watching and flipping. Yes. So you still, she's going to do still a little bit of that because you're going to sear them off in the, in there, 
um, which is going to basically give the juices to the pan anyway. But so it's basically going to do the same thing. A little bit of a crunch. Yeah, you're going to get that because they're not going to come out crispy in this. Like the tops aren't going to be crispy or anything like that. So, but they're going to be fully cooked. And they're so going to be juicy. And they're going to be juicy. 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 So we're going to sear them off. We'll show you that obviously when we get to it. We sear them off, and then we're going to basically have her make her sauce stuff, which is pretty much the same thing as the recipe. Yeah. All right. So Stacy's over here messing with it. She's going to turn the temperature to what? What do you say, Stacy? 160? 160. Yeah. That way they're done and we just sear them off. You can also do this from the app. I'll show you how to do that too. So you'll see it here. It's basically the same as that. So you stop it. You can also set the temperature from inside the app as well. I'll ask you to confirm. Start. And this is the Wi Fi version, so you can actually do this outside your house too. You can actually put ice in this if you want, and um, basically, like act like a mini refrigerator, keep your stuff ready, and then as soon as you're ready to turn it on for the timing that you want, you just kick it off from remote and the food starts cooking. So, pretty cool. So, we use Argus UV quite often. Um, we, if you are interested in looking at it or possibly buying one, we'll have it linked down below. If you already have a sous vide and you don't have these um, water bath contraptions, um, we'll also have those linked for you in case you're curious on trying those. It really makes everything a lot easier. We also have these racks that we use to help keep the food in place in the water bath. If you're interested in more sous vide recipes, Definitely let us know in the comments down below and we can come up with some more things that we'll show you. With that said, let's get the pork in the racks into the bath because it's dirty pork. It needs a bath. So we're gonna you realize it's not actually getting a bath right. There's no water touching that. Yeah, no, it just, uh, 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 I like it. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna take the first one and we're gonna lay it flat. Put a couple of these racks on top to give it a little separation. Put the other one on there and we'll put the other two racks on the top so that it will hold it down. This isn't normally how you do it. Normally these, as you see, they have the little tabs. They sit in there so that you can stack things up like this. But we're doing it this way because it's a little easier and I'm afraid that if we stack these, the water's not gonna cover it completely. All right, so we're gonna pull the lid off. And all that water drain back in so it doesn't get all over the place. And then we're going to gently lower these down in. Trying not to burn my fingers at the same time. So as you see, the racks are holding the meat down below underneath the water. We'll put the lid back on. We're gonna let those cook for two hours. We'll see you then. Two hours later. They're done. And we are going to pull them out. Make sure you have some tongs or something. Because that's going to be really hot. And we are going to cut this baby open, throw the juice in a bowl, and do the same thing with the other one. And we're also going to dry off the pork chops. And why are you drying them off? Because we need to sear them. So I have the cast iron turned on to medium high heat and I'm going to throw some butter in here, a couple tablespoons, so we can get these nice and seared. These only need about two minutes aside because they're already cooked. If you remember, they spent two hours in the sous vide and we're just going to just outsides of them browned up. We've got these browned on both sides. We're going to take them out. And we're going to start on the sauce. Now we're going to take a couple of chopped onions, throw them in here to get translucent, cooked up. As per usual, we are doubling. I'm putting in six cloves of garlic. Get that all nice and stirred up. 
Okay, so instead of using instead of using the bone broth, I'm gonna use the juice that came from the pork chops and we're putting in a cup of that. And then we also need two cups of heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna reduce the heat to medium low and we're gonna whisk in some stuff. We got two teaspoons of basil and one teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna whisk that in. One and a half cups of Parmesan cheese. Once we have this all whisked up, we're gonna cook it until it thickens. I had to add some xanthan gum to get it to thicken up because it was still very not thick. Now that it's thickened up, we're gonna put in our two tablespoons of parsley and stir that in. Now is it two tablespoons for the whole dish or is it two tablespoons per for It's two tablespoons cup? for the recipe, but since we're using dried parsley, I'm not doubling it and oh. I just use the two tablespoons. Okay. So I'm getting that all stirred in. Then we put the pork chops back in so they can get reheated. On the sauce. So we have it plated up, cook it for a few minutes on either side just to get the pork warmed up. Greg made some fried, fried cauliflower fried, rice, fried rice yeah. to go underneath it. Um, and we also made... Which is almost gone. Pretty much an appetizer at this point. We also made some bread cheese. Um, which yeah, it's almost gone. This is the garlic bread cheese. It's really, really good. If you can find it in a store, I recommend you get it and try it. All right, guys. So we got a little bit of an earlier start today than normal. So we're going to be able to get two games in, which is going to be awesome. And uh, I can't wait to try these pork chops out. They look pretty tasty. And uh, the cauliflower rice that Jason mentioned. Oh. I feel like it's kind of bland. Sauce is good. <clears throat> I think you need more sauce. I have that sauce. It's just kind of bland. It's just. Could you use more onions? <laughs> doesn't, doesn't have a kick or anything, but. No, and I think you've broke me. Because mm -hmm. now it's like I always want. I kind of want to go get the green pepper sauce and put it on there. Yep, I know it's like. <laughs> Welcome to Team Hot Sauce, Stacy. Right. <clears throat> it's a good place to be. You broke me. Yep. So it's really good. I definitely make some changes though. What kind of changes? Uh, I probably would add a little cayenne pepper. Uh -huh. Try to get a little bit more kick. Um, I think the cream definitely dilutes things a little bit, you know, the, the, which I mean it's good, but definitely gives it the creaminess. But I probably would season a little bit more too, a little more salt, a little more pepper. Cauliflower rice. What do you think? I haven't really had any yet. I've just been eating them, except for what's been stuck to this. Which means you don't hate it. So I made it like a fried rice with the eggs and mm. Yeah, that's good. It's better than Rather. previous iterations. Oh, well, there you go. You're gonna try it again in the future? Because <laughs> before you were kind of like, no, 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 I'm not interested in that. <laughs> what Sorry, do you our, need? Our dog is about 20 minutes early for her dinner tonight and she's letting us know she's not pleased. Anyway, we're gonna finish up. We're gonna play our game. We're gonna play Lockout first because it was the first one we got for Christmas. The second one is Expansity. Stacy gets to play that one second. We'll let you know who wins. All right, guys, it's cleanup time and uh, we, we played two games. We played Lockout first and then we, we played Expansity. Locked up was everyone's favorite. Yeah, yeah. I kind of ran away with that one a little bit. It's not everyone's favorite game because Greg nope. won. That's that's why everybody hates it. <laughs> that's Greg, not Greg won. Accurate. That and Stacy kept getting up to play with her cups. Stacy makes cups. Not her bra but, cups, but, but St Stacy makes cups, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug. Uh, and then we play Expansity, which is probably, is that one of your top five favorite games now? I don't know. I mean, really? she, she scored pretty high. You would score, okay, you would score this in your top five? I don't know. What's your top five? I don't know. She doesn't know. I don't think of it like that. Ooh, damn. Way to go, Nate. King Kong Nate knocking stuff over. <laughs> Shut up. I, I feel like know. I, I feel like I want, I, I feel like that's your homework, Stacy. Yep. I feel like we at our next... Cookbook Keto, we need a top, 
Top five to ten. Yep, Stacey's top, top five, five favorite game. Five to ten. Sometimes it's hard to choose. Top five to ten, and you can have honorable mentions if you wish. Yeah. I don't know. That's I why. Don't... That's why it's your homework. I don't think about it like that. Think about which games you would like to play again. She does. That's how I think about it. It's like, exactly. oh, I like that. I play it again. So, anyways, Greg won by a mile on all the games. Ah, Stacy got pretty close in that last one. Oh yeah, it's true. At this point, the, I don't even remember what we ate. <laughs> I, I give it a thumbs at three quarters of an angle. Three what did we eat? Quarters of an angle. Pork, pork chops. Oh, the pork chops. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was okay. Well, I've never made pork chops before, so I'm okay with it, I guess. I don't know. They were kind of bland. Yeah, that, I think that's the, the, lack the sauce, spice. though. Like, it's not a lot of seasoning to it. Not, so, not the highest rating, I think, from everybody. No, I, I was about three quarters as well. I, I mean, I thought it was a decent pork shop. The sauce I felt was good, but I felt like it needed a little more zazz. Needed something. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. There's a subscribe button somewhere around by. Somewhere around here somewhere. And as always. Stay keto. Wow, that was really. I should try that again. No. I just really like. Uh, no, we're done. Uh, Kat is rocking the chair and she's doing it intentionally. She's licking herself. No. <laughs> she, she's not like, hey, I'm in a rocking chair. <laughs> Kind of what I felt like it was going on over there. You can also use hot water. It looks like Stacy's using cold though. I just told you to use water. You said use cold water. I just told you to use water. You told me to use cold. You said fill it up with water, cold. No, I said use it with cold no, water. No, no. Water. I said water. You said water, cold, and I thought, why are we doing cold? You're the master. You know what you're doing. Don't zoom in on me. It's creepy. Ah! These scissors are terrible. If only we had three other pairs. If only you kissed my butt. If only you had a dollar for every time you said that today. Camera's on. At least I don't put these in the bags usually, but you know, if you want to. You usually put these with the cards. You are fat with thousands tonight, Greg. Right? Yeah, I can't remember Stacy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? What the hell? Let's go! She was waiting for me to say the sign I'm up. just waiting for you to be done! <laughs>